Hey now, I'm almost through my um, gin and tonic, so I have enough alcohol to get me through one more story. And this story is um, about what I share with Jimmy Stewart. And what I share with Jimmy Stewart, who is a now dead actress from the 40s, 50s, and 60s, um, James Stewart, who was in the Hitchcock uh, movie Rear Window, as well as many, many other movies, um, he and I share the Rear Window experience, at least part of it. And mine happened when I was in Paris. The second night that we were there, we were there one, two, we were there three nights. The second night we were there, I was sitting in a chair that I had pulled over to the window, and they were the floor-to-ceiling windows with a little iron grate. Um, we had um, gone down to get dinner earlier. Instead of going to restaurants, what we did was we went down to the street vendors um, in our neighborhood and bought, oh, some bread, some cheese, a little bit of ice cream, some... Um, a long baguette sandwich, you know, this, that, and the other, some fruit. I'm vlogging, honey. I'll be out pretty quick. Okay. Dinner's ready. He made pizza. Oh, I'm excited. Anyhow, um, so, you know, we'd, we'd put all our food and stuff out on this, uh, on the little ledge right outside our window with the lovely wrought iron grill, and they had the windows open, and the, the curtains were those long, filmy curtains, just like you see in, you know, a well-styled movie set where the air is coming in and they're kind of wafting back and forth and I was sitting there in the dark my sister was asleep um, well it was dark except for the light on my cigarette now I don't smoke I never smoked before I went to Paris I don't think I've ever smoked since I've come home but for two and a half days I smoked like a French woman I mean we had our big old packs of Galois, and we were just, just chain-smoking those suckers down. Well, so I'm sitting there, I have my feet up on the, the window ledge, and I'm sitting in this beautiful, fake Louis the, you know, 15th chair that was really old, but certainly not real. And I'm smoking the cigarette, and I'm drinking a glass of wine, of course, and I'm looking out my window. Well, what I saw across the little rue, the rue de Seine, Seine, however you pronounce that, like the river, rue de Seine, right across the street was another, a set of ancient old walk-up buildings. And um, the buildings in this neighborhood were about five stories, and we were on the fourth story. So the sun has pretty much gone down, and and it was in that little lull that happens in Paris between the time people go home and have their dinner and kick back with their families and the time that they um, grab an umbrella and their ID and head back down into the street to go have fun. Um, the streets in uh, my neighborhood anyway, I'm assuming a lot of neighborhoods in Paris, they come alive around seven o'clock in the evening and they stay alive until close to midnight and um that's when all the stores are open um oh i don't know <sighs> entertainment um music venues that kind of stuff uh restaurants of course uh grocery stores all that stuff's open real late there and you've got the gendarmes on every corner you know the policeman without any guns and everybody's kind of hanging out talking with the policeman and it was it was um i keep it keep it kept feeling as if i were in a movie you know i mean it was just so different than my life here in my world but anyhow so um we didn't we didn't stay out late that night we got we, we were out for a little while we got back kind of packed it in so I was sitting there looking across the street and what I saw were large windows. Um, well, it was like a set of maybe four windows across each floor. And the top floor, the garret floor was dark and that's what, you know, that's in the attic. The next floor down was lit and the uh, curtains were open. The next floor down was dark and the next floor down was lit with the windows open. So I was looking across, looking into the lives of two different 
sets of people. Um, two different apartments. And the apartments were all the way across. So, you know, there was like, you could see into a kitchen, you could see into a, like a living area, and then sort of into a bedroom. And in the, in the bottom floor, I can't remember um, what was going on down there. It wasn't very interesting. But directly across from us, there was this couple. Um, she was in the kitchen, cooking presumably um he was sitting at a desk in front of a uh, computer um and doing something and then after a while um she went to the door she opened it somebody came in hugs all around that it was a man he sat down um and so they're like doing their evening life right um she comes in put something down they were eating something off of this big platter um drinking what appeared to be beers and long neck bottles and um then about that time the light the um light goes on in the in the flat beneath them and it was an entirely different deal it was this old couple and um, they opened just one set of windows, as I recall, and they were, and that was in their living room, or whatever you call it there, the salon. And um, they were just sitting around talking. You know, she, I, I distinctly remember her kicking off her shoes. That was kind of interesting to watch. And they're, you know, doing their thing. And I'm sitting watching these people's lives like it was television. And I flashed on that movie Rear Window, where um, uh, Jimmy Stewart's character is. He's in a, a wheelchair in this movie, and his only entertainment really is to look into the windows of the of the people that live in the flats across the courtyard from him. And he had a um, he was a photographer in the movie, and he had his big old long telephoto lens. He could like you know sort of spy on what these people are doing, and it was real entertaining for him until you know the murder story started. But anyway, I it was a it was such an odd feeling because I felt this um. I don't know, this sense of connection um, to um, what was going on in that movie and what was going on in my life at, the, at that time. So, it was, uh, it was a trip. But anyway, so I got to have a rear window experience. So, um, that was pretty exciting. Um, probably not to you, but it was exciting to me. Talk to you guys later. Bye.